Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a review. <clears throat> this knife is going to be a review. Um, it is the K-Bar TDI Large. So this is the bigger version. Um, the other version is relatively smaller. The grip and everything is smaller and the blade is also smaller. So first thing we're going to get to in this knife is the price. Price point is $50. I bought this knife off Amazon. Um, it's a knife that I really uh, look to get. It's a good self-defense knife from what I've read um, from police forums and everything like that. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the sheath. The sheath is this nice piece of Kydex right here. Um, the only bad thing I really have to say about this is this Velcro that kind of comes on. You could stick a belt through it, but spend the extra 10 bucks and get the belt clip that comes with it. It's a lot nicer. And, uh, I don't know, it just makes the knife flow. And you can have more carry options, too. Uh, the Velcro is attached right here. You have one, two, three, four um, little pinholes here that you can attach those to. So it comes with a tool. You just unscrew those and attach the belt clip. So sheath, overall, pretty good. It has nice jimping right here that uh, you push off of when the knife is in there like that. So you just push... Uh, I guess I could show you that real quick. So when it's in there, it, it clicks, it locks. You can hear it when it's in there. So you kind of can kind of see the jumping on the knife. You just push off like that, and that comes out. But it's in there pretty nice. It's meant to be worn on a belt like this. So like that. So you can cross draw it with your right hand or draw it with your left hand like this. So you can have it like this. It's, you can make a nice self-defense weapon with that or cross draw like this so now getting on to the blade <clears throat> this is a really nice blade I actually really do like it K-Bar makes a good knife maybe they make a good blade um, not quite sure what uh, kind of steel this is made out of but it is uh, pretty nice um, decently sharp I'll take this card over here it used to be an ace but you know it's pretty sharp I'd probably hit it up Hit it with a sharpener, you know, if you get a chance. It's not, it's cutting the, the ace, but it's not really, you know, eh. I'd sharpen it if I was, if I was, uh, if I, if I bought the knife as a customer, I, I would expect it to be sharper. Um, the knife is coated with a, uh, you know, rust repellent, everything like that. You can see there's a nice logo on there, the nice K-Bar logo, and it says K-Bar. The other side, made in Taiwan. Like I said, knife has a very nice jimping um, right here, as you can see for that. So it's good. It's got a nice uh, ergonomic grip right here. As you can see, it fits into your hand well, and if you ever needed to, you, I like putting my thumb up here so you can, you know, if you had to stab or pinch or, you know, draw that knife out and get ready to go. Um, nice knife overall. I like it. It's not too bad, especially for 50 bucks. I mean, it's pretty much in the middle of the market. You get a good sheath. Um, I'd like it if it came with a belt clip. I think that would just make it a lot better of a knife. Um, that's really all I have to say about it. It's got a nice, you know, nice hot colored blade right there. Really fits in your hand well. Um, if I had to rate this knife 1 out of 10, I'd probably give it around 8 or 8.5. Um, cons being the uh, cheap Velcro and belt loop right here. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan. And uh, I think the handles on this knife aren't as nice as they could be. They're kind of like hard plasticky handles that are kind of fused together. But the ergonomics of it are good. So, you know, you could throw some grip tape on there or, I don't know, maybe you can buy other handles for this. It looks like... It, you can touch it up with the little Allen key that uh, it gave, but ergonomics are really well. It comes, like like I said, it's going to be, if you're going to carry it cross draw, it's going to be in your belt like this, and you're going to have to come across with this hand, pull it out, and you're ready to go. So um, ergonomics, I would say 10 out of 10. It fits in your hand really nice. Um, I kind of have bigger hands. So as you can see, you know, it's got about a three 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 and a half inch blade it's got a nice angle to it like i said this is the larger of the knives but the small one is very small so i would go with the bigger one personally easily concealable i carry this all the time you know you can 
depends on how you want to do it. When my belt clip comes in, I'll be carrying it inside the waistband. So, yeah, overall, K-Bar, TDI, good knife. I'd probably give it an 8, 8 or 8.5 out of stars. Pretty good knife overall. So, I'll leave that there, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.